Greetings, everyone, in the precious name of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who alone is worthy to receive all the praises, all the honor, all the glory, thanksgiving, and power forever belongeth unto Him. Um, I'm continuing on with the series of messages dealing with the subject of the pre-tribulation versus the post-tribulation rapture theory. Uh, that Perry Stone and, and other well-known prophecy uh, evangelists are preaching and teaching on television and on radio. They are preaching and teaching that uh, the church is going to be raptured out of the world before the seven-year tribulation period starts, which is that last seven years before uh, Jesus Christ comes to set up his kingdom on this earth. And it's, that seven years is divided up into two parts. The first part, the first three and a half years, and then this is, is the part is the half, is the part where uh, the, the Christians uh, are witnessing and, and and preaching the gospel, the church witnessing and preaching the gospel. And 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 then uh, in that second half of the of the tribulation period is when the Great Tribulation begins and the abomination of desolation, the Antichrist commits the abomination of desolation. Then that last three and a half years is when the persecution of Israel begins, specifically. Uh, but anyway, the church will be here until, until the end of that seven year Tribulation period. And then the wrath of God will be poured out Perry Stone seems to think that the whole seven years is the wrath of God. And that, you know, the Bible says that we are not appointed unto, to, to have to endure the wrath of God, which is, which is true. That is for the ungodly and for the wicked. But the, the whole seven years is not the wrath of God. It's the tribulation period. Even Jesus said that when, the, uh, when he was telling the disciples about what was going to happen in the end, in Matthew 24, he said that when you see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet, you know, flee to the to the to the mountains, because then will be great tribulation. He didn't say it was that will, because then will be the wrath of God. No, he said it would be great tribulation. Tribulation. That word tribulation means persecution, and we covered that in my previous videos. Um, the church will the church will go through tribulation in Acts the fourteenth chapter twenty second verse it says confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith and that we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of God. Why would Paul why would whoever wrote the book of Acts, why would they say that? That we through that we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of God if the church was not supposed to go through tribulation. All right, so Perry Stone's argument does not make any sense that, you know, now, now, now the wrath of God and the tribulation period are two separate things. The wrath of God comes at the end of the seven-year tribulation period, and that is the time when God will fight against Satan and fight against those ungodly and destroy all the wicked and un ungodly off the earth, and, 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 and Satan will be locked up in a, in a prison during that thousand year reign of Christ. And that, that is the purpose of the wrath of God is to destroy the wicked off the earth and, and prepare the earth for the kingdom of, of, of the Lord. For, you know, for Jesus Christ set up his kingdom for a thousand years. But his first, the earth has to be first cleansed of, of the ungodly and the wicked. Why would it take God, the almighty creator of the universe, seven years to destroy the wicked? Did it take that long when in Noah's day, Jesus gave a clue. He said that it, as it was in the days of Noah, so also shall it be when the Son of Man returns, the second coming. He said right, it said right before the flood came, you know, nobody knew what was happening. Everything continued as it was. They were marrying and giving in marriage. Uh, right up until the day that Noah entered into the ark, God shut the door, and then the flood came and wash them all away. So that's how it's going to be when the, when, when the, when at the second coming of, of Jesus Christ. Before the wrath of God is poured out, we're going to be raptured, which is at the end of the seven-year tribulation period. And then right after we're raptured, 
the wrath of God is going to be poured out on the ungodly and the wicked. They're going to be destroyed. And Satan is going to be locked up in a prison for a thousand years. All right. It's not going to take seven years for God to do that. Okay. Uh, now, but now let me show you, let me show you where the persecution with that seven year tribulation period, the, the persecution that's going to be going on during that time, let me show you from the Bible who's behind all that. It's not God. In, uh, let's see, let's, let's go to Revelations, the 12th chapter, verse number 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth. And for the and of the of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knows that he has but a short time. So that seven year tribulation period, and that great tribulation period, you know who's behind all that? Satan, the god of this world. The Bible says we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and spiritual wickedness in high places. The Bible says the weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal, but they are mighty through God. The weapons of our warfare, they are not of this world, but they are mighty through God for the pulling down of strongholds the casting down of imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God. The word of God is our, is the sword of the spirit, the Bible says. So that's why we need to make sure, as Christian believers in Jesus Christ, we need to make sure that we stick to the word, we study the word, that we become accurately acquainted with the word and with what the will of God is for our lives, and that we be prepared for what's coming ahead. Okay, let's look at... Uh, some some verses Perry Stone said that that he didn't see the church in the book of Revelations after the third chapter because because we've been raptured all right let's look and see where the church is and we can look at we'll start with verse number Revelations verse number uh, six. And when he had opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of them which were slain for the word of God and for the testimony which they held. And white robes were given unto each, every one of them. And it was said unto them that they should rest yet for a little season until their fellow servants also and their brethren that should be killed as they were should be fulfilled. All right. What do we see here? We see... The Apostle John is in the spirit. He's been taken up to heaven. And he what he sees, is he's writing down what he sees. And what he sees is the souls. He sees souls. Now, what are souls? Well, guess what? Souls are the spirits of people who have died physically. Their physical bodies are dead, so their spirit goes on either to heaven or to hell and 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 John is seeing some these souls of those who who were slain for the word of God they were martyrs for Christ and for their testimony that they held and white robes were given unto every one of them and it was said unto them that they should rest yet for a little season now guess what Guess who those souls are that that John saw in that in under the altar in heaven? <laughs> that was the church, part of the church anyway, because it said that they should rest for a little season. They didn't have their bodies yet. Their bodies hadn't been resurrected because why? Because the rapture had not occurred yet. And and it said that they should rest for a little while, a little season, until their fellow servants. Okay, that's another name for the church. Servants. We're servants of the Lord. Paul even said, I'm a servant of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, 
unto their fellow servants and their brethren that should be killed as they were should be fulfilled. So evidently, the tribulation period was still going on when John saw that. And that's Revelation chapter 6. So, Paul, so Perry, guess what? You're wrong again. Uh, these, these, these theories that you keep coming up with to try to prove that the pre-tribulation rapture is, is biblical, you know, your theories, they have holes all in them. They, they don't hold water. It, it's not scriptural. And uh, I'm, 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 I, I want to stick with the Word of God. I don't want anybody's opinions. I don't want nobody's theories. I'll continue the next.